the economy is great, right? We're in a, a V-shaped recovery, right? No. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate you watching my videos and leaving a thumbs up and a comment. You guys are great. Well, we're in a, a recovery, right? Things are getting better, right? No, no, they're not. At the best, I think we're in a K-shaped recovery. Now, what, what do I mean by a, a K-shaped recovery? That's actually a, uh, the newest term. You've probably heard the L-shaped recovery, the W-shaped, the V-shaped, all that kind of stuff. What is a K-shaped recovery? Well, I'll explain it to you right now. A K-shaped recovery is when the stock market is going up, but the real economy is going down. You know, the haves are you know, seeing their uh, paper wealth increase in the stock market. The have-nots, well, they're seeing their paycheck cut. Of course, the stock market frenzy that people and the, the haves are seeing are driven by a handful of companies. You know, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, uh, Netflix, all that, right? That's what's driving the market, largely. Wall Street is partying while Main Street is suffering. You know, the vast amount of small and mid-sized companies are actually hemorrhaging money right now. Now, I've talked to my neighbors, I've talked to my friends and family, and this is what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's the same with you, but I'm hearing, I lost my job, Yankee. Uh, my, my pay got cut. Uh, I have reduced hours. I, in fact, uh, a neighbor of mine just told me that his wife's company that she owns can't survive without another round of stimulus. She can't pay her staff. As many companies are saying, you know, we're just making ends meet. Again, the smaller, the, the mid-size, not the big, massive companies that can buy back their own stock and, and make things look really great. And then maybe there are some that are, you know, working white collar jobs. They're doing fine because they can work from home. I'm working from home now full time. I never leave this house practically. But that is the uh, big difference, if you will, between the... Uh, upper portion of the K and the lower portion of the K. GDP, however, is plummeting. And debt? It's through the freaking roof, folks. Debt is now going to blow right by our anemic national productivity as early as next year. Of course, that's bad news, folks. We haven't had that since World War II. We should be slashing the size of our federal government. We, you know, uh, programs, bureaus, entire departments should all be reviewed and potentially on the chopping block. But, but that's not the politically expedient thing to do, right? Especially this year, an election year. Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Congress, they're going to be coming back from vacation and, and you know, more debt-fueled stimulus is on the way. All monetized by your friendly neighborhood central bankster. This recovery is a sham. It, it's a mirage. This, this right here, fake. Yeah, it looks good on your monthly statements, but that's not the real economy. Even, even record stock market highs are only because of the cheap money that the Fed is printing. This is the reality. Now, I know some of you are going to say, whoa, 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 Yankee. <laughs> Unemployment for August, it dropped more than expected. It's only 8.4%. Yes, non-farm payroll increased by 1.37 million. Oh, uh, by the way, that included over a quarter of a million temporary census workers, but we won't talk about that. No, it's all good, right? <laughs> we're we're at 8.4%. 8.4%. That used to be horrible, but not now. No. Pundits think that's great. They 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 think this is a sign that everything is awesome. What do I say to that? An increase in employment was to be expected. It was obvious that uh, you know what happened during the shutdown was going to reverse some. 
right? Especially when the PPP, the uh, payroll protection plan ended and the federal loan became a federal grant as soon as the employers took back their furloughed or laid off workers. <laughs> Temporarily, potentially, right? So yeah, when you're in the toilet, grabbing the rim of the bowl is to be expected. But the water's still swirling, folks. And I think we are going down the drain soon. Why? What? Why do I feel that way? Well, I'm going to give you three reasons or three areas of concerns for me. Uh, there's a lot more than three, but that I don't want this video to go on forever. So I'm going to just give you three. And the first one is back on the whole jobs topic. But this time, I'm going to talk about jobs that are permanently gone the number of people in the U.S. seeing permanent job losses rose to 3.4 million. Guys, that's up a half a million. That's the highest level since 2013. These are the real jobs that drive our economy. And you know what? I think we're going to blow the top off that stack from the uh, global financial crisis. I think we're going even higher. Remember, unemployment is usually a lagging indicator. We see it later on. And I think that what's coming is gonna be very similar to what happened for two plus years after the last crisis. So that's the first reason, permanent job loss. The second is China. Okay, now I, this could be nothing more than financial saber rattling, right? We've, we've, we've heard them you know, threaten this before, and, you know, it's just, they're just blowing smoke. But guys, I think one day they're going to be serious about dumping our treasuries. They're the second largest holder of our government debt. And, and I think they're going to play the ultimate game of monetary chicken with us one day and refuse to swerve. Would they get hurt along with us? Sure they would. But unlike many Keynesian crazies who think that debt is actually a good thing. I believe that we Americans would be obliterated. See, China is the creditor nation. They make stuff. We don't. And they also know how to protect themselves with real money, specifically gold. Forget the official reserve numbers. That that means next to nothing. Their control of mining and the imports of gold blow us away. So returning to that uh, game of chicken metaphor, China has a gold airbag in their monetary vehicle. We don't have a seat belt. I'm not gonna talk much more about China. I've done that in the past, and I know they have a lot of problems of their own, but if we ever go to war with them, we're toast. So that's the second reason or a second concern that I have, I should say. And the third concern that I want to talk about is the coming banking crisis. Wait, what, Yankee? Yeah, you heard me. Banking crisis. And I don't care what the FDIC chair, Jelena McWilliams, said recently. I used to work at a bank. And I'm telling you, banks are in trouble. Check this out. First quarter earnings for banks and saving institutions plummeted 70% this year compared to you know, Q1 2019. Second quarter was no better. And that's based on the FDIC's own data. It, guys, why do you think Warren Buffett unloaded more than a quarter of his stake in Wells Fargo and about 61% of his position in J.P. Morgan Chase? And I bet he's already shed a lot more banking positions since then because He's seen the risks, and those risks in the mortgage and corporate debt markets are growing rapidly. Quick history lesson, guys. Back in 07, leading up to the meltdown of 2008, banks had loaded up on what were called collateralized debt obligations, or CDOs, high-risk financial instruments, even though at the time they appeared to be perfectly safe because they were diversified right well they weren't hold on say that again cdo a has parts of cdo b and cdo b has parts of cdo a but then they both get put inside cdo c 
Yeah, that one's called CDO squared. CDO of a CDO. All right? And then there's CDOs made up of the opposite side of the bed you made with your swaps. We call them synthetic CDOs. What did you say? Synthetic CDOs. All right, let's say you have a pool of 50 million in subprime loans. How much money could be out there betting on it in your synthetic CDOs and swaps right now, tonight? Let's see, 50 million. Mm, billion dollars. What? When housing prices headed down, the CDOs, those bundled mortgages, crumbled. Lehman Brothers went bust, the, uh, the, the Treasury Department and the Fed stepped in, that whole too big to fail thing happened. But what about now, in 2020? CDOs? Pfft, that's so last decade. CLOs are hot now. Yeah, CLOs. <laughs> These are the corporate debt bundles called collateralized loan obligations. Different acronym, similar crazy derivative scheme, same disaster in the making. Folks, the banks are sitting on more than a trillion of these crappy CLOs. And I think a whole new wave of defaults in the corporate debt market is coming and coming soon. If you're holding wealth in a bank or in a, a, a brokerage account, you need to realize that it carries both obvious and hidden risks. Stuff we don't even know about yet. And even though the risk of losing everything, okay, maybe, you know, small or at least appear to be small right now. I mean, come on, the FDIC says they have, what, $110 billion in a backup fund. I am convinced the potential is there for a massive collapse of of, of public banks. And I think that if you hold a, uh, a savings account or, or a CDs or, or bonds across the yield curve, you're gonna lose big. Systemic risk in the banking sector is real in my opinion. Um, again, I'm no financial analyst, you know, do your own research, but I am convinced personally. And, and because of that, I think you need some ultimate money you know, the good stuff, right? The one with uh, uh, no uh, default risk, no counterparty risk, no risk of it, you know, being printed into worthlessness. You need silver and gold. Get off the fence, guys. Start stacking. If, you, if you've already started, well, good, <laughs> okay? Consider increasing it if you can. And, uh, well, if you're a whale of, uh, of a silver stacker, consider gold. And shoot, if you have tons of both, well, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Inspire us all. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm done for now. But but thanks for watching. Hit, hit the like on the way out. Uh, stack on, prep on, and I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.